How's it going, ladies and gents? It's Beginner's Luck here. And uh, so if you've noticed, I haven't posted anything in a while, you know. I haven't posted anything in a month or so. And just a quick update. Uh, I've been really busy with school and work and other things, as I said before. But I'm finally trying to get a hold of things, trying to structure my life accordingly. And so uh, I'm back. And uh, today's video, we'll be talking about... Battlefield 1, and uh, is it any good, you know, based on the multiplayer beta? So my friends and I played the Battlefield 1 beta when it was out for the public in early September, and we had lots of fun with it. Like, I did not imagine myself having so much damn fun with Battlefield 1. I think DICE really nailed the multiplayer on this. It just felt fantastic. So, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what makes this game so fantastic? Why is it any good? Well, from the multiplayer beta that I've experienced, I gotta say it's the gameplay. The gameplay, you basically have modern 2016 first-person shooter mechanics, and you mix it with World War I era combat. And that's about it. Now, the gameplay isn't the only thing that Battlefield 1 has going for it. You have DICE. DICE makes beautiful games. The visuals in this game are so damn beautiful, and it's in its beta form. I mean, they probably won't enhance it any further because it's so damn beautiful, but I just cannot stress enough how beautiful it looked on my console. Just regular console, not PC. It, it's, it's eye candy. It's basically eye candy. And the sounds in this game are so good. I cannot express how much I felt like I was in an actual battlefield setting just by listening to what was going on around me. Now, while we're on the topic of sound, I gotta say that the only thing I don't like is the uh, commentator's voice. The lady who speaks on things when you capture points and such. Yeah, I, I, I don't like it. I mean, under, I understand DICE is trying to bring a modern feel to it, but I would have loved it even more if it was like some sort of rough, jagged voice, like narrating what's going on in the battlefield. All right, so enough about the visuals and the sounds. How's the multiplayer? The multiplayer is pretty damn fair in this game. DICE has done a really good job, a really exceptional job, making this as fair as it can possibly be for your multiplayer experience. For example, if the enemy team is destroying your team, like say they're 50 tickets ahead of you, the game will give you a heavy train for your team so that way you can wreck shit up. It's awesome. Oh, cool. Boom! That is a beauty. I just... The heavy train is so damn fun. And you can only get it if you're being crushed. You can't get it if you're losing, like, say, 20 tickets. You have to be getting, like, decimated. Like, enemy has all the points, destroying your team, 50 points ahead of you. The game gives you a heavy train, and you can wreck shit up with that thing. It's so damn fun. I wish that my team would be, decim would be getting decimated so I could use it. And another thing is that the objective points give you rewards for capturing them. Like, say uh, you capture E that's, like, stranded all by itself. No one's over there. And you capture E, the game will give you an extra airplane to fight in the battle. So you have an extra aircraft advantage against the other team just because you have captured E. The game also has different melee weapons. Like, for a default weapon, they give you a club. Now, a club's pretty simple, you know... I understand that things were simple back then, but who wants to swing with a club? I mean, this isn't caveman era. This is World War I. I upgraded that club to a shovel. 
That thing might have been a bit slower, but it did a lot more damage, and it felt so much more satisfying whacking people to death with a shovel. Ooh, I'm gonna take him out so good. Yeah! And the game also rewards gradual progression towards the objective. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, here's an example. Say that I'm shooting down an enemy, and I do 89 damage out of his a total 100 points. And then an ally of mine comes in, does 11 damage to the enemy, and he dies. Now, with any other game, I would get an assist for that, and my ally would get all the, all the points rewarded to him because he finished the job. Not in this game. In this game, the damage you do is the points you get. And that goes the same with vehicles and objectives, which is freaking awesome. The game rewards you if you did the majority of the work. And even if I was to uh, die at the last second, and then people do finish the job for me, they do get a completion bonus. But ultimately, I got the majority of the points because I did the majority of the work, which is a nice way to reward players. Oh, also, one thing that I did not notice as I was playing the game, but I recognize it now as I'm watching the recordings, is that this game has dynamic weather changes. I did not realize this until I'm done playing the beta. That is so ridiculous. I, I can't believe I didn't see that before. The weather changes dynamically in the game. That is so freaking cool. It's, it's just a little detail that DICE has implemented that really does make a difference. As for example, I have a gameplay clip of me and my teammates rolling out into the desert. A sandstorm hits. I, didn't even not, I did not even realize the sandstorm uh, had hit. Like, I mean, in the back of my head, I'm like, oh shit, sandstorm. But I did not think, oh hey, the weather changed in the multiplayer. I did not consciously think that. And the sandstorm drastically affected my aiming skills as the machine gunner in the vehicle because I couldn't see jack shit. Run, drive, 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 drive. We have lost objective apples. Oh. It's these little things in the game that just make it so fun, so balanced, so fair. I love it so dang much, but it has its flaws, as with any other game. Not many flaws, but some flaws. For instance, uh, the horses. They have way too much health. They're basically tanks. That is super annoying. I mean, if you're a horse uh, user, you like to uh, ride horses in this game, you're going to like it, but I, as, a, as a person who doesn't use horses, I find it infuriating how much health a horse has, where I can put entire clip into the horse, and that horse does not die. I mean, I understand if you were to make it realistic, like a couple shots would kill a horse. That would be no fun. But making it where it can survive an entire clip of bullets into its body and still be running around just fine? That's ridiculous. You, there's got to be some fair ground there, Dice. Come on. And another thing with the horses is that they're very glitchy. I remember one time, and I'm sorry, but I wasn't recording this at the time, but I remember one time in the beta when I was riding my horse around the town and I was trying to jump over a wall. It, it wasn't a tall wall. It was a broken down wall. And I was trying to jump over it the horse got stuck. It literally got stuck midair, and I couldn't move. I was so dang pissed off. I was like, Dice, what are you doing? I was just so mad because the horse just got glitched there. I'm sure that's a beta problem, and they'll fix it, but that needs to be fixed if you don't like know about it already, Dice. Also, uh, horses can sort people like five meters away. I, I don't understand that. Like, you're clearly out of reach of an enemy, yet if you use your sword, you can easily kill them. That doesn't make sense. 
Same thing happens when you try and uh, run over people with a horse. Like, if a horse is next to you and runs by you, that counts as the horse running over you. It counts as a trample. That is ridiculous. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. A horse runs right by me. I mean, I would probably take damage, but instantly die because of it? No. No, 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 Dice, no. Also, another thing, and I'm pretty sure this is just a beta problem, but this is a big, this was a huge problem in the beta. The pause screen. If you paused your game while you were in combat in multiplayer, you might as well have just signed your own death contract because those pause screens take way too long to freaking load up. Come on, come on, get out of the start menu, get out of the start menu. Oh my gosh, resume. No, mother effer. Fuck you, game. You got me freaking stuck in the freaking main menu. It's like a loading screen for a single player RPG game. It's ridiculous. I died so many times because I accidentally pressed start. I cannot handle it, Dice. You definitely need to fix that. Furthermore, the medic weapons. Come on, Dice. The medic weapons, I understand they're not mainly used to mow down enemies. They're used to help defend the medic because the medic is there to support others. But they're so ineffective! They are so hard to use to kill people with. I love the medic class. I love it. But the weapons in this game are so dang useless to use as a medic. It's no wonder there were no medics in the beta. The medic class sucked. You gotta, he gotta buff up the weapons, guys. Come on. And this last one is a slight bit of a nitpick, but it's still a problem nonetheless. I have troubles in the game with my character climbing over a ledge. A ledge. If I try to climb over a ledge sometimes in the game, my character would climb, it would be up on top of the ledge, and then all of a sudden it would teleport back down. It was like, what the freak? We have taken objective Charlie. I'm pretty sure that's just a glitch that was only in the beta. But if that's in the real game, that why didn't you fix that? Don't you know that's a huge problem? It's ah, I, I like I said, I'm I'm starting to nitpick now, but ah. Anyways, that's the majority of the problems that I experienced with the uh, Battlefield One beta. Can't think of any other flaws or issues except for maybe like the tanks are slightly. Slightly overpowered, I want to say, but that's another nitpick. Overall, this game is a complete upgrade to Battlefield 4. I mean, in Battlefield 4, the guns there, I, I, they feel like plastic, basically. I don't like them. They feel like toys. But in Battlefield 1, these guns feel like guns. They feel impactful. They sound magnificent. And you can see the bullets travel, which I think is a cool feature that they've added. Overall, like I said before, I had lots of fun with the Battlefield 1 beta. And judging by this multiplayer beta, 
Mm, I might say that this could possibly be one of the best first-person shooters coming out this year. You know, this is just going to, like, put that out there. But I think it could, like, very be the best first-person shooter out there. I mean, some of you might argue that Overwatch is better. I played Overwatch. I consider that a MOBA. I don't really consider that a first-person shooter. And, yeah, guys, so that's just my opinions of the Battlefield 1 beta and my experience with it. But I would love to hear your guys' experience with it. How did you guys like the beta? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Explain why. And, uh, yeah, so I'm back. Hopefully I'll be back to the weekly schedule. Hope so. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below. And subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you all next time. Laters.